Well, well, well. It's Friday. What's up, guys? I didn't want to let the week slip by without making a uh, quick video for you guys. I've been busy this week. I uploaded the entire um, Cowboy in the Sunshine album to YouTube. So I got that up, but I wanted to get a face-to-face -face video going real quick. And I didn't have time to live stream this morning. So I wanted to get in a big water cheers with you guys and watch the replay. I've been having a blast um, reading everyone's comments and uh, responses to the album because a lot of you guys knew me, know me from like minimalism. That's how you got here. Some of you guys through affiliate marketing, some people from music, other people from, they don't even know how they got here, but you're here. So I wanted to share a couple of my favorite comments that I've gotten from you guys about the new record, Cowboy in the Sunshine. Um, the first one I just saw today. I'm opening up Instagram. And I've got this great graphic from someone that says Malin. It's like refrigerator magnets with a guitar and hands. It's really cool. From a person named Hansi Bar. Instagram handle is Hansibar, H-A-N-D-S-I-B-A-R. And it's pretty cool. It's just a graphic that they made or a photo they took of their refrigerator spelling out my name. And it says, today, let's show some love to a great artist and a most inspirational person, Malin Darris. His album, Cowboy in the Sunshine, is out now. Go check it out on Spotify or wherever you can find it. That's so cool. This is, I mean, I didn't request this. I didn't ask for this. So it's really cool just to see organic posts like this start to pop up. Remember, I'm releasing albums out of my house by myself to you guys. So you guys are my um, Rolling Stone interviews. You guys are my reviewers. You guys are my record label. You guys are my distribution center. Every time you share it or, say, or post it or share it with a friend, it helps kind of spread the word. I just thought it was awesome. So, so number one, thank you, Hansi Bar. And I'm going to keep an eye on your Instagram profile because it appears to be an Instagram profile that focuses on posting something with hands in them every day. And it's really creative and cool. So check it out if you want to. Now I got another Instagram the other day and I won't say who these are from, but if it's from you, thank you because these are private messages. This one is. And it's from someone who's been around for a long time, someone I've talked to on Instagram before, but he says, um, hey, Malin. Congrats on the new album. I just listened to the whole record from start to finish and was blown away by the songs and amazed with the production. At the end, I just wanted it to continue, so I played it over, this time at twice the volume. So glad to have searched for minimalism videos all those years ago to eventually get to listen to such authentic music. This album is a truly special treat. Thank you. And there's a bunch of cool emojis and stuff. That's awesome. That one made my day as well. And, and that's like I'm saying, you, you may have found like a blog post or a YouTube video about minimalism. Then it's like, wait a minute, this guy has music too. And it's, it's funny because that's, this is music is what I've done my entire life. The minimalism and affiliate marketing stuff is all just brand new stuff that I've done in the last decade or, or a little over a decade. So, uh, Three minutes, 35 seconds in. All right, let me try to keep this one short. And I want to read, this is one of my favorite ones. And this is from our friend Tammy from the Morning Coffee Fam. She was, I believe, recommended our live stream by YouTube's artificial intelligence. And uh, she, I remember her coming into the chat and she said, I don't even know why I'm here. What are you guys talking about? I don't really understand any of the lingo. And I said, just hang around. And she hung around and She's become like a serious member here and is in almost every live stream and comments and talks a lot. But sounds like she's a big music fan like I am. And uh, listen to this great comment from two days ago. It says, this album has become like an old friend to me already. Each song resonates with me in some way. Some have made me cry. You have got huge talent, Malin. I've got music playing most of the day, every day. And I'm so happy I've got this gem to add to my life. I will love this album as much as I love all of my favorites until the day I leave this world. I want to make it clear that I don't sugarcoat ever. Peace. That's about as good as it gets, man. I mean, a lot of people release their records and you send out um, press packages and hire a PR department to like push you around to the blogs and BBC and get you a review here and see if you can get your name, you know, like a little blurb written about you and whatever. 
And, um, but to me, organic responses like that from people who we may not know each other in person, but we hang out all the time on YouTube or on the blog or whatever in the forum. To me, those reviews and to hear that, that you guys are enjoying it and that you're kind of starting to see the bigger picture. Like it's not just about minimalism. It's not just about intermittent fasting. It's not just about affiliate marketing. It's not just about music anymore. It's about a lot of stuff. And it's kind of a strange combination that I've struggled with doing for many years. But now I feel like it's going really well. And this is all just confirmation of that. So thank you for helping me continue with this. Because when you put out an album on your own and you're not a major label well-known artist, it's kind of strange. You put it out. And everyone, all your friends, family, and, and the small amount of fans you've accumulated over the years get excited and they share it and they talk about it. And then it's just kind of over and you go, well, what now? Am I supposed to go on tour? I need to get shows? Well, no, I just read these reviews and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to start on the next record. <laughs> There's going to be no tour. There's no live shows. Might make a few videos. I, I do like being creative in that way, but especially during this pandemic and the ending of the pandemic, hopefully... Um, touring, it just doesn't seem like that in, uh, exciting of a prospect, especially when you add in the fact that most of the time, and I've had varying, I've been at varying levels of playing music in my life. I've, I've been a beginner and I've been at the top of a music scene, like to where everyone's basically um, writing about you, posting in the paper, you're on TV, you're on the radio, shows are filled with people. And then I've come to LA and had to start over from scratch back in. Um, you know, open mic nights, small gigs and small bars and stuff. And really every um, avenue, every angle of it is fun. But right now I feel like I'm a complete beginner again. And over the last few years, I've kind of reinvented myself musically. And it's a humbling thing to do. It's a very difficult thing to do. I mean, it's, uh, I can't imagine what it feels like to go from being unknown to playing bars to playing selling out clubs to theaters to arenas to worldwide stadium tours and then you then when your star falls which it usually does for 99 percent of everyone you go back to theaters and then the big clubs and then the big clubs don't sell out and next thing you know you're at bars again playing to 30 people and this happened to some of the biggest bands ever just depending on how the public um listening habits changed you know the style of music you're playing could have you in a stadium one year and then you could have no record deal and can't even sell a ticket to a bar show you sell less than five tickets uh, a year or two later it's crazy but so as a beginner it's really as a beginner again it's really fun to start over and to start with stuff like this like yeah so rolling stone didn't write about the the album um, it didn't magically get, get picked up by the new york times or whatever but you guys are listening to it. You guys are sending me messages. And my friends, family, and fans are posting responses on um, Facebook. And I've just heard some amazing stories about people crying through the album, um, tearing up on almost every song. And for me, that's, that's the signal. Because, spoiler alert, when I recorded this album and ever, all of them, part of the process, and I wrote a blog post about this, and made a video called How to Make an Album. And part of the process was finish a song, listen to it on repeat, and cry for like three days. So when I hear something affect you guys like it affects me, it's kind of just confirmation like, well, that song works, whether it goes platinum or not, or is buried in the sands of time. Who cares? It worked. It helped. It brought out emotion in someone. And man, for a musician, that's about as good as it gets. Uh, so that's really all I had to say, man. I wanted to check in with you guys and just just show you these cool comments. Thanks again to, um, what was it, Hansy Bar, Tammy, and then an unnamed friend who I will keep private because it was in a private um, Instagram message. But uh, yeah, man, if you guys have enjoyed the record or if you hated it or whatever, let me know in the comments, man. Let's talk about it because I love hearing this stuff. Again, like you put it out yourself. I mean, if you're a super huge established artist, you put the album out, it goes to the top of the charts, people, you know, gets a million views on YouTube and et cetera, et cetera. You get a lot of confirmation or bad news very quickly. Like it didn't sell, no one's watching the video, you know, all that. But when you're just an independent, totally, truly independent artist, no record label, no nothing, 
and you do it all yourself, the only, the only way you know if you're doing a good job is if people tell you. And you guys are telling me, so that's really cool. So thank you. We're at 10 minutes. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up. I'm way past my coffee and monster part of the day, so I'm drinking water. So water cheers to everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And I uh, hope you're doing well. It's Friday. Have a great weekend. And as always, I will see you in the future.